Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. The, the three tiers of government will share a total sum of 902.053 billion naira as federation allocation for the month of November 2022. The Federation Account Allocation Committee, FAC, made this known in a communique after its meeting. While the federal government got 30.426 billion naira, the state received 101.420 billion naira, while local government councils got 70.994 billion naira. The Airborne State Police Command says it has uncovered the biggest bomb factory in the South is suspected to be operated by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in Obego, a boundary area between Onicha Isu and Ishelu local government areas of the state. Spokesperson of the command, Chris Anyawu, who disclosed this in a statement on Thursday, said its operatives stormed the camp full of incredible information gather that hoodlums will operate in and wrecking havoc within Ishelu Axis. Anya will explain that during the operation, which led to the arrest of the commander of the IPOB ESN in Ebony State, Sunday Uba, also known as Bongo, two of the separatist groups, group members lost their lives and one of the commanders was arrested. The Kogi state government has debunked an allegation of money laundering leveled against the state by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Kinsley Fanwo, made this known in a statement on Thursday, describing it as sustenance of the prosecution of the government by the Abdur Rashid Bawa led EFCC. Fanwo observed that the commission, with its present allegations, had shown clearly that it was desperately seeking to save its face after the commission hit a roadblock in its 20 billion naira sterling bank media trial. Public school students in Philadelphia will have to wear face coverings at school for 10 days after their winter break as communities around the country contend with another surge of COVID-19 and other respiratory viruses. The mandate, which will run from January 3rd to 13, is aimed at reducing the spread of respiratory illnesses after a holiday season, likely filled with more social gatherings and increased exposure. In business, the World Bank says 5 million Nigerians have been pushed into poverty as a result of inflation in 2022. In the report titled Nigeria's Choice, the bank said the country's inflation has worsened since 2020, eroding the purchasing power of Nigerians and increasing poverty. It has also reduced Nigeria's 2022 growth forecast to 3.1% from a previous forecast of 3.8%. These, the bank explained, is due to Nigeria's slow economic growth amid declining oil output and reduced non-oil activity. Russia has launched a fresh missile attack on Ukraine on Friday, hitting critical infrastructure in several cities across the country, including the capital, Kyiv. According to authorities, water supplies were also disrupted, adding that metro transportation in the city has suspended its services and stations should be used as shelters. There were reports of loud explosions in several parts of the city as residents have been advised to take shelter. The incumbent president of the Niger Olympic Committee, Habo Gumel, has been elected for another term in office, defeating close challenger and former Minister of Sport, Sani Undunasu uh, Indu, Indanusa Begapadin, by 21 to 19 votes at the elective Congress of the NOC held in Jalingo Taraba State on Thursday. Gumel's victory at the polls secured a third consecutive term and a fifth term overall for the Jigawa Bon IOC member, whose last eight years in office has attracted heavy criticism. He was first elected as NOC president in 2002 and was in office until 2010. He returned again in 2014 and was in office till 2022 before winning another term at the election. And that's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. Bye for now.